motocross. What is, what is that, Sherrod, as we go and talk about his next client? That is racing motorcycles. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about if you've been through a race or if you've had other clients that, that have done this. Uh, well, yeah, we're actually very uh, active in motorsports, um, especially during COVID. We were actually engaged with um, leagues to help them get national interest exemptions with the White House uh, to process athletes during the, uh, the COVID ban. Uh, but we are really active in um, um, some of the short track racing that comes out of uh, New Zealand and Australia. And then we are also helping um, the first black uh, pit crew uh, athlete. And uh, she's a great story where she's a, um, a soccer player and she's actually here in Charlotte, where our head office is. And she uh, went to a, a program with Rev Racing, where they um, encourage diversity. And she got hired full time uh, to be a pit crew person, even though her background was in soccer. Uh, there's a lot of push for more athletes to be included in those pit crews as every second counts. All right. So th th there you have it, folks. Um... So talk about the specific uh, client you have, Luke Power. You had a situation and you had to come in uh, being retained to help remedy uh, something that went down. That's right. So uh, we didn't file the original visa for uh, Mr. Powers. Uh, he had another attorney file it. And just on a background on him, he's kind of a, a, younger, a younger guy. And um, he is kind of getting started in his professional uh, career at the, at the top levels. And, um, you know, had I been on it, you know, I might have advised him to, to race a little bit more um, before he pursued the visa, but we're already here. So uh, we wanted to respond to it and get him um, the best chance possible of getting those P1s. And um, this specific, uh, specific uh, issue, he had um, a problem where they didn't list his, uh, they didn't see the events he's going to compete in as requiring international athletes. And they also didn't um, see that he had enough categories of eligibility. For example, uh, national team experience, uh, significant awards, and um, expert opinions, nor uh, a consultation letter from the governing body of the sport. All of that was not satisfied. Um, and to uh, just wrap this up for clients that are uh, looking to, see, to come to you, what 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 documents and and things that they should have they lined have lined up? Uh, as far as to going through the process? Well, in uh, motorsports, um, there's a, you know, specific things we look at um, because for one, it's not a sport where there's generally an international ranking and then also it's not an Olympic sport. So you have to kind of work harder to um, show that you're part of a national team. But what I would do is I would look at the, you know, do I race in anything where there's foreigners there? Because we can look at the final standings of the year and argue that that satisfies the international ranking category. Now, while there might be not a traditional national team, but if you were picked to go race in, and in Luke's example was somewhere in Asia, uh, they had an Asia cup where there was like four other Australian riders there. And we were able to articulate that, hey, in this sport, this is the equivalent of a national team. Even though they're racing individually, they still tally up the points. Uh, for the riders from these different nations. And we try to argue that's the, um, the national team. Now, the other thing to look at is the governing body of the sport. In motor sports, like, uh, you get confused. You're like, oh, okay, who's in charge here? Is it this body? Is it this organization? Is this organization? Um, so it's, it's important to, to make sure your attorney understands the hierarchy of where you're getting your consultation letters from. And then experience is also always helpful when you get expert letters to help fill in those gaps and explain to USCIS why different things are important in the petition. Why, why come to you? Oh, because this is all we do. We love this. We do. All we do. So we are so rooting for Luke Power, uh, 17 years old, right? Australian, uh, competing in, in, in Bodo racing um and so uh we'll be rooting from him from afar so thank you everyone for watching thank you